there are certain things that have been kind of um don't resonate anymore or don't help people feel engaged with their well-being because it's kind of like well yeah I know that but I, I, either yeah. I haven't put it on place or oh, I feel like I have put it in place and I still don't feel like I still think there's kind of I'm still feeling really stressed or you know whatever it might be um so that's that's again that's where our model kind of helps organizations and individuals go beyond those kind of fundamental um or or, or more kind of commonly talked about um, behaviors that that can improve well-being to to things that are actually much more specific um and targeted and I think um the kind of final thing in terms of the the kind of practicality of our, our well-being approach is that because we work with um organizations um with with employees we, we listen to employees and we do things like focus groups interviews we understand their their kind of working day and we also work really closely with um team leaders and managers as well as the organization uh, kind of higher levels things like organizational mm -hmm. strategy what that means is that it creates a really common language across all the levels of the organization um, so that people um, can have a common understanding of what well-being is. They can have common um, uh, phrases or kind of uh, common um, terms that they can use and they'll they'll know that their manager knows what they mean. Um, mm. They know that their manager um, and is on the same page as them. So if they if they want to go and talk to their manager or something like that, that um, it's something that the manager will have been um, trained to, uh, you know, accept or listen to. Yeah. It, mm -hmm. it's, it means that the right conversations can start to happen. People feel more comfortable to have those conversations if it feels like something that's um, kind of integrated 